We see it almost every time it rains, water flowing out of catch basins where it should be flowing in. If they say in the pumps are working, and we're still having water here, there's a problem somewhere, somewhere between here and the pumps. New Orleans has about 72,000 catch basins, entry points for rainwater into the drainage system. Some are clogged at the surface. That's unbelievable, you know. Where's the, how's water gonna go in there if there's major water? Even when residents clean the surface, they find more obstructions inside. It was filled to the absolute brim uh, compacted over what looked to me to be a very long time of mud, leaves, and a uh, ton of roots. And even with no visible blockage, some drains just don't drain. That's often because something is wrong with the lateral pipes that connect to the rest of the system. This clogged pipe was discovered during street construction in Lakeview. If the pipes were good, obviously we wouldn't have this problem. It would drain. There are about 1,500 miles of these lateral pipes crisscrossing the city. Oh, there are a lot of small laterals that the Public Works and the Streets Department need to be able to repeatedly check and clean. But right now, there is no regular maintenance schedule. Just a few days ago, we found this. I'm here on South Claiborne Avenue, a major thoroughfare in New Orleans, and it hasn't rained in days. And yet here is a large pool of standing water. And if you go a little further, under the pool of water is a catch basin. We showed Ramsey Green, the city's deputy mayor over infrastructure. That's a problem, Mike, and we have it all over the city. And we're doing something about it in ways that has not been done before. In many respects, New Orleans is trying to catch up to neighboring Jefferson Parish. Jefferson has nine vacuum trucks to clean 80,000 drains, and nine more trucks are added before major storms. New Orleans used to have eight, but three are outdated and up for auction, and two are in the shop, leaving only three. Come on, three vacuum trucks? It's We're... nowhere near where this city should be, which is why when the mayor came in, she focused on getting more money to solve this problem. While the parishes have similar drainage issues, they have vastly different resources. Mayor Cantrell and her administration vowed to change that with money from tourism dollars known as the fair share deal. With the mayor's fair share, um, that, that doubles our maintenance staff. Right now we have three, as you know, we have three flush trucks on average operating any given day. That increases us to 12. The disparity in resources between the parishes can be documented. Both rely on citizen complaints to pinpoint problems. This spreadsheet of New Orleans 311 calls shows hundreds of complaints dating back years. You have 311 catch basin complaints going back to the previous administration. Yes. Yes. That's a really long time. It's uh, wrong. In Jefferson. It's never usually longer than a week or two uh, before we can get to a, get to a complaint. Mitch Terrio is Jefferson Parish's director of drainage. He has a crew of about 300 employees. In New Orleans, drainage falls under the Department of Public Works, which is trying to get up to 100 employees total. We showed Terrio some of the clogged drains we found in New Orleans. How long would that be able to exist in Jefferson without getting some attention from you? I'd be in trouble in a few days if we hadn't addressed something like that. While New Orleans officials are blunt about the challenges, it's been in crisis since we've been here and well before. They are optimistic about where the city is heading. Because we're changing the narrative, we're putting the money where it should be, we're fixing these things, 